Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. I am back to do some more sewing today. I'm going to be making a bias cut slip skirt and I actually made one of these last week just as a practice run and I'm going to make another one today because I really like the pattern. It's really easy to work with and the style is just so cute. It's something that we're seeing a lot nowadays in the store. So it's something that's easy to DIY yourself. So I thought that that would make a really fun project to share with you guys. The first one that I made was in some silk charmeuse and I will show you guys what that one looked like. But today I'm going to be making one out of some floral rayon and I have a really fun package I wanted to share with you really quickly before I start sewing. I don't know if you can tell where this is from based on the packaging, but Rifle Paper Company sent over the sweetest sewing themed package, which was just so nice of them. And I'm going to be working with some of the fabric that they sent me today. So let me show you guys what they sent. So in here, there are some of the sweetest, most beautiful sewing goodies. Let me first show you the fabric. So this is what we're going to be working with today to make the skirt it is this really pretty floral rayon. I like that it's black with some color to it. I think it's gonna make a really cute skirt. So I'm really excited to work with that. And it's two yards, which is the amount that the skirt pattern I'm working with takes. So perfect for that. I'm super excited to see how it turns out. And then they also sent a cotton fabric in this really cute rose print. And I'm thinking this will make a really cute summer top. So I have a pattern picked out and an idea for that. So we'll see when I get that one done eventually. And then everything else in here is just so cute as well. Let me show you guys really quickly. They sent over some beautiful threads and then the cutest little wooden needle case with needles in it, which I think is so lovely. Everything is just so well thought out. They also sent a seam ripper and then a magnetized pin cushion. This one feels really heavy duty and this is super nice because the one I've been using is broken. So I'm very excited about that. And then, oh, I love these so much. They sent these beautiful gold needlework scissors, which are perfect for trimming threads. You always want some really small scissors for that. And then just two more things here. They sent some beautiful Rifle Paper Company print pencils, which will be great for marking things while I'm sewing. And then also some notebooks. And these are perfect because I actually buy their notebooks all the time for planning out projects. I have so many of these with things just listed in them. So that's what they sent over and I just thought I would share it with you guys really quickly. It was so sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to starting to sew the skirt. So the pattern that I'm going to be using is the Evie Bias Cut Skirt from Tessuti, I think is how you say it, Tessuti Fabrics. And it's just a really simple bias cut skirt pattern, a really easy one to print out if you're using your at-home printer. It doesn't have too many pieces, so it was a pretty quick one to tape together, and it's one that I know I'll reuse a lot, so I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to starting to cut out the skirt. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut the skirt out and I've opted to do the version that has an elastic waist. Last time when I made the teal version of this skirt, I did the side zipper, but I thought that it was a little bit bulky for a lightweight skirt with no lining. So this time I've decided to do the elastic waist so that there is no added bulk to the side seams. So that means that I only had to cut out two pieces, just the skirt back and front. So this should be a really quick project to make. I'm kind of excited to see how long it takes from start to finish. So both of the pieces, let me see if I can find the top, there it is, are just a simple bias cut skirt piece. So I did cut this on the bias, which means I cut it on the diagonal of the fabric, and that'll give it a really nice drape, which will look really pretty and make the fit a lot better. So the first step is just to overlock the side seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I don't know if you'll really be able to tell, but I've gone ahead and searched that edge. So the next step is to sew up the side seams. And the reason that you serge or overlock before you sew the side seams is so that those can be pressed open to help reduce the bulk. So what I'm going to do now is just put the right sides of the skirt together, and then I will pin and sew all along the surged edges. I'm gonna do a one half an inch seam allowance, and then I'll press that open. And once that's done, the main part of the skirt is actually already assembled, so this is a really fast project.
Okay, so the skirt side seams are all stitched up and I've gone ahead and pressed those down. So now we're going to move on to adding the elastic to the top edge here. So I've gone ahead and cut a piece of elastic that fits to my waist measurement. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and overlap this a half an inch and stitch it down really securely to make a circle. So I've sewn my elastic together. I actually sewed it in three different points using a zigzag stitch and this black thread won't show, so that's not an issue. So now it is a nice circle. So the first thing I want to do with this is to divide the elastic into quarters. So I'm going to use pins to mark this. I'm gonna start by marking one half here on this side and then also on the other side. And then I will just do the same thing, matching those up and marking on this side and the opposite side. So the reason that we do this for markings is so that you have a place to match with the center back, center front, and then each side seam. So that keeps your elastic distribution really even. So now it's time to go ahead and pin and sew this to the skirt. So I'm really excited to see how this works because the other one that I did, I didn't do the elastic. So first things first, I am going to make this my center back. So I'm going to pin the elastic to the front of the skirt with this fluffy side facing the right side of the fabric. So I'm going to start by matching this to the side seam. And I'm just going to let my elastic overlay the edge of the fabric just a little bit so that everything is encased once we turn it to the other side. So there I have pinned both of the side seams and you can tell that the elastic is quite a bit smaller than the actual skirt. We'll want to stretch that to fit. So I'm going to match these two pins to the center front and back. Okay, so here is how the elastic looks now that I've pinned it at all those four points. So what I'm going to do now is sew it down with a straight stitch, stitching right at the edge where this little scallop is. And I'm going to stretch the elastic to fit in between each of the pins. Okay, I'm just gonna peek into this foam frame here. So the elastic is sewn on. So what I'm going to do next is fold it towards the interior of the skirt. So just that top edge is peeking out. And then I'm going to run zigzag stitching all the way around, stretching as I go so that everything fits really nicely. Okay, so here is what the top looks like now. You can see that little bit of beading peeking out from the top of the elastic, which I think is really actually very cute. It's not something I would have thought to do, but I really like how it looks actually. So the last thing to do now, this is such a quick project to make, is just to stitch up the hem. So I've gone ahead and folded it up twice and pressed it down, and I'm just going to stitch it down with a straight stitch, and then this will be all done. sunbeams are really coming through the window right now. So the skirt is all done and I am so happy with how it turned out. Um, I started sewing at 4.08 and it is currently 5.02. So that includes me setting up my camera and all of that sort of thing. So I think if I wasn't filming, this could definitely be a 30 minute project. So if you're looking for something really quick to sew, highly recommended. I think it's super cute. So I've just given it a final press. I'm gonna go try it on and I will be back to show you the final result. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream 
Okay, so I finished the skirt. I'm actually wearing it right now, which you can't really see because the only place I could find to film right now is sitting in this chair. But I have filmed some cutaway clips that will be shown here. I really love how it turned out. I think it's so cute and comfortable. And then I thought I would also show you guys the silk version that I made. So this version does have the side zipper, which I personally would not do again because I feel like it made it really hard not to stretch out the side. So this one did have a little bit of stretching on it, but I love the color and I love the fabric. So I will still be wearing it. But next time I will definitely stick with the elastic like I did in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I made this skirt. I really love how it turned out and I think I'm definitely going to be making more of these because the pattern is so quick and simple. So let me know if you decide to try it. I will have the pattern and fabric and all of that stuff linked to it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out on my channel today. If you are new and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you subscribe for future sewing and thrifting and style related content. And if you have been subscribed for a while, thank you so much. I really appreciate your guys' support. I will talk to you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye. Let the sun shine on the broken. Let the sun